Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. Americans have long since ignored the two-decade war in Afghanistan, including the plan for final withdrawal. That is, until its chaotic end this week riveted worldwide attention. This video screenshot from the AP shows Afghans running alongside a U.S. military plane in Kabul after the Afghan government collapsed and the country fell to the Taliban on Monday. President Biden vowed to rescue thousands who had worked with the Americans, but their fates remain uncertain. What's striking to me is that this image is absolutely spot news, but it's also broader than that. I think it's a metaphor in many ways for the U.S. experience in Afghanistan. You see the magnitude here of the plane, right? That dominating literal U.S. Air Force logo. And that magnitude and then the scale with the people running alongside the plane. You see people on the lower left trying to climb onto the plane. It really speaks to, I think, a lot of people's casual perceptions of what has happened in Afghanistan over the last 20 years. Like everything else these days, this photograph has instantly become fodder for the political battles in the United States. There's also either very targeted uh, associations to it, such as the analogy to the fall of Saigon. Is it instantly a photograph that will go down in history? I would vote that it will. But at the same time, how much context does it have? And what will it say in a week and a month from now? I'd say that's much less certain than what we're picking up on Twitter right now. We're recording this after only a few days that have passed since the initial chaos at the airport. And even now, there are narratives that things, while still extremely uncertain, dangerous for people remaining in Afghanistan, things are less chaotic. It is too, too easy, I think, to link this to that visual analogy of Saigon and Things, as you say, are much more complex than that. For example, I was really engaged by the photographs of people in internet cafes on their phones, getting online, trying to fill out paperwork for asylum. Those sorts of images contextualized with an image like this present a kind of longer term set of questions. What will happen to refugees? What will happen, especially to the people who worked for and helped the U.S. and their allies for 20 years? If you've been following the story, the drawdown was almost 90% complete by mid-June, so this wasn't as random as some would have you believe. On the other hand, what was unexpected was the fact that the 180,000-strong Afghan army would vanish and President Ghani would suddenly bolt the country before the U.S.-Taliban exit negotiations worked out by the Trump administration could happen. What the photo is, speaks to is the plight of Afghans, and especially Afghans who are working with the United States. You know, the Pentagon had set a goal of evacuating 22,000 Afghans by August, given a day or two after the transport plane photo was made. There is more order that's being restored to the Hamid Karzai International Airport. There are flights that are starting to go in and out. You know, we'll see how many of the people that worked with the United States specifically and people that are actually in this photograph do make it out of the country. The image highlights, I think, a number of those things, a lot of that uncertainty. It's blurry. It's a video still. It's fuzzy. That's appropriate, I think, given the fuzziness of everyone's understanding about what's going to happen next, about how things are supposed to go, what will happen to people in the future. That kind of movement and danger is really embodied in this image. Everyone's kind of running in the same direction, and yet we can't see what is in that future, right? We can't see what's off that right side of the frame. 